Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99 How you doing? How you doing? I'll just do a double. Now I gotta do a triple. How you doing? It is October 30th, all day, early evening, and this is the most serious videos I'm ever going to do. So, I will go to great length to scour the internet to find my subscribers the best content available. And this evening, I have come through again for my subscribers. I'm going to put a link below. It'll be video number one. And it's a... I wish I would have seen... Well, this video wasn't available in 2017 when I got interested in uh, cryptocurrencies. But you've got Michael Saylor. CryptoMiner99, that name sounds familiar. Who is he? Google him. And we've got Anthony Scaramucci. CryptoMiner99, that name sounds familiar too. Google them. Google them both. But I'm going to put a video link, video number one below. It is a fascinating, truthful, full of facts, full of integrity by basically billionaires talking about why cryptos are here to stay and why Bitcoin is going to be the winner of the race, so to speak, if I could use that phrase, and how sooner than later these institutional investors, of which up until this point their hands have been tied, if you will, trying to get their... Um, not their point across. Anyhow, it's about institutional investors, you know, hundreds of trillions of dollars coming into, in, into the crypto space. It was inspiring, and I've been listening to it on regular speed the last 48 minutes and 23 seconds. So if you put it on double speed, it's about 24 minutes. You don't have to listen to it, but I wish I would have known this back in 2017. And again, it's fascinating. It goes into um, what the institutional investors and these institutions, what their thought process is of why they, they're going to be getting into Bitcoin in a huge way. So again, if that's of interest to you, great. If not, no problem. But the announcer said at the end, or the person doing the interviewing, that as the crypto space matures, there's diminishing excuses why institutional investors shouldn't get into Bitcoin. So, you know, 10 years ago, there was an excuse, five years ago, four years ago, three years ago, but we're in a season now of diminishing excuses why institutional investors shouldn't have Bitcoin and cryptos on their balance sheet. Anyhow, fascinating to this little guy, Crypto Mentor 99 thank you, Michael Saylor and Anthony Scaramucci. Love y'all. Bye-bye.